Fish are slimy. There's no debate over that. I've always thought that this coat of slime was produced to keep predators from easily grabbing hold of the fish. It turns out this isn't really the case, but anybody who's held a fish can likely relate to why I would think this. While this slime coating makes fish difficult to grip, this isn't its main function. In reality, fish have two entirely different uses for their slime. There are many different diseases and parasites found in environments where fish live, and their bodies would make excellent hosts for a number of things. With a slime coating covering the fish's entire exterior, these parasites and microorganisms have a much harder time making their home on the fish. So really, this slime serves as a vital protection for the fish's health. This is why it's very important to wet your hands before handling fish. If you slap a dry hand down on a fish, much more slime is going to adhere to your hand and separate from the fish's body, making it more vulnerable to disease. This includes the infamous whirling disease and certain types of fungus. There have been several times when I've been out fishing and seen fish swim past that literally look like they have mold growing on them, and this is a result of some of that fungi. The second reason isn't quite as important as the first, but to a certain extent, the slime on a fish makes them more hydrodynamic, or in other words, it creates less drag on the surface of their bodies as they swim through the water, making their movement more efficient. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and give it a like. As a new YouTube channel, anything that you can do to help support me is extremely helpful. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one.